Hey y'all, welcome back to episode two of Mustang Roundup. I'm Carly. I'm Annie. And I had the opportunity to interview the head volleyball coach, Coach Franey. I'm with Coach Franey today, head volleyball coach. How do you feel about the past volleyball games? I feel really good about where we are right now. Our girls have improved since day one, since we summer workouts and our first game, we have improved tremendously and we look to finish very strong. How do you plan to advance your team? By playing harder. We've played a couple of good heavy tournaments with against good teams and we plan to continue doing that and finish out um, the year with all the wins. How do you feel about the upcoming games? I feel very good about them. Um, we're healthy. We don't have any injuries and everybody's been really good about taking care of themselves and still playing strong and I think even mentally and physically we continue to be stronger. Okay. Thank you Coach Franey. Volleyball has two area matches at home next week. Tuesday September 26th we play the W Word and Wednesday the 27th we play Carver. We have to beat the W Word in straight sets if we want to win our area for the first time since 2018. Thank you, Carly. Our football team will be back in action this Friday at Foshi Henderson Stadium. Here's Liz on the scene with some of our football players. Thanks, Annie. Today I'm here with... Jermaine Ray, cornerback for Stanhope Elmore. How do you feel about having Deshaun Caffey back with an already good secondary? I feel like we'll have um, an even better defense, more communication on the field, and more understanding with a leader. All right. Thank you. I'm also here with... K.L. Jackson, number three for Stanhope Emma. Arthur McQueen had himself a game against Russell County. What's the mindset for the offense for Carver? Just being more consistent, communication, lining up quick, and just executing all around. All right, thank you. Lastly, I'm here with... Deshaun Caffey, safety, number one. How's your leg feeling from the injury? Feels great. <laughs> all right. This is your first game back from the injury. How are you feeling about this game? Uh, I feel very confident. Um, I feel like that we have time. We have time to come together, all get healthy and stuff like that. I feel very great about playing a great team. And what do you think you can add to an already good secondary? Um, they've been playing pretty good. I feel like I can bring um, just more communication. Uh, we've been lacking communication. Uh, just being that leader that I am, vocal leader that I am, um, adding that communication in that, just playing more physical. That's just, that's what I'm looking to bring. All right, thank you. Thank you, Liz. The football game will be broadcasted on the Mustang Roundup YouTube Friday at 7. Now here's Dash County with the seventh day weather forecast. Caw, caw! What's flapping in the skies, free birds? My name is Dash. You know who I am. And you can also notice that I'm alone this week. Today, going forward, the weather will likely be done by one person, Georgia and I both swapping, which means next week you will not be seeing me doing weather. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and get it started, guys. And we're going to be heading into Thursday partially cloudy. All right, you see this? Boom. Bring it down here. 84 degrees is the high. 64 degrees is the high. Friday is 85 degrees and it's going to be completely sunny and matter of fact this this whole week don't even worry about bringing a coat man you don't need one it's not gonna be a raindrop a snowdrop hail blizzard tornado hurricane it's gonna be completely sunny you and your family can go out to the park every day this week go walk your dogs take this you smell the breeze because you know what friday saturday sunday it's all completely sunny Moving on to Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, guess what? All three, partially cloudy. You're not going to have a problem with rain. You might get a little, it might get a little cooler. Now, starting off with Monday, when we head back to school, we've got a high of 89, a low of 62. Moving on to Tuesday, once again, partially cloudy like I already said. All right, so closing it out, Wednesday, we've got a high of 87. we got a low of 62. And enough of this note, I just wanted to let you guys know there was supposed to be a whole freestyle rap segment with both me and Georgia, but that's not going to happen. We don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen one day. I'm freestyling on this weather. One day it's happening. But that's it for your seven-day forecast. Throwing it back to my anchors for the rest of your news. 
Thank you, Dash. Now to continue our new to SE segment, I had the opportunity to interview Mr. Adams, our new special ed teacher and wrestling coach. Uh, last year I was a college intern and I loved the school, I loved the environment, I liked the uh, faculty and the students. And then so I subbed here for a while and then once I got my teaching certificate I was asked for an interview and they told me I can come join them and I said yes. I wrestled in high school and in college, I loved the experience and so I decided the next step was to become a wrestling coach because I want others to have that experience. My favorite part about San Obama was the students. I think the students are awesome, and I love interacting with them and helping them grow. FBLA had their induction ceremony last week. Here's Lauren McGrath with Treasurer Kaylee Simmons. Hey, I'm Lauren McGrath, and I'm here with Kaylee Simmons. And today we're going to be talking about FBLA. So we hear that you all just had your induction ceremony. What does this mean and what goals do you all have for the year? The induction ceremony is where all officers for this chapter get inducted. So that includes the president, vice president, the secretary, and the treasurer and more. Uh, our goal for this year is to increase membership by 10%. Okay. We also hear that you all are putting on a special event. Can you go into more detail about that? Yes. So Tuesday, September 26th from 6 to 8 p.m. We're going to be hosting a suicide prevention and awareness assembly here at the Stanhope Football Stadium. Okay. Thank you. And back to y'all in the studio. Thank you, Lauren. FBLA will be having a suicide awareness event Tuesday the 26th. See Kaylee Simmons for more information. Now here is Caitlin Connolly with your weekly announcements. Thank y'all. Bowling trials will be held on October 3rd. This week's student section theme is camo. JROTC is hosting a drill competition on September 30th. It will be from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Free admittance to the public. Come cheer on your JROTC team. Come support your SCHS SGA with a car wash next Saturday, September 30th at O'Reilly's Auto Parts in Millbrook from 9 a.m. to noon. This will be to help raise funds for your homecoming dance. Support your girls' volleyball team by buying a pink out shirt for their meet on October 2nd. See Coach Freeney for more details. This Friday's game versus Carver will be broadcasted right here on the Mustang Roundup YouTube. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the coverage of your Stanhope Elmore Mustang. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you all for joining us for episode two of Mustang Roundup. Hey guys, one quick announcement before we go. Just a reminder, homecoming is coming up on October the 27th and we have a lot of activities planned for that week. If you are interested in running for homecoming court, signups will be in my office beginning on October the 2nd. You may sign up from October the 2nd through Friday the 6th. Um, ninth, 10th, and 11th grade girls, you may sign up to write for, run for homecoming court, and 12th grade um, boys and girls for um, homecoming king and queen. So if you'd like to sign up, but, or sign up in my office, and then we will be voting in Google Classroom later on in that month. Have a great afternoon. Make sure you check out our website, follow us on our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook page. I'm Annie. I'm Carly. This is Mustang, Mustang Roundup. Roundup.